Welcome back everyone, Michael here with Offshore Citizen. Today I'm going to discuss with you a little known uh, residency option by real estate investment in the EU. A lot of the times we've talked previously about golden visa programs in places like Portugal, Spain, uh, Cy well, sort of Cyprus, uh, Greece, Latvia, etc. And these are fine, but they're 250,000 euros plus, depending on what it is that you're talking about. And today I'm going to talk about one that is, I mean, the investment can be in theory as little as 50,000 euros. There's a bunch of other fees. So, you know, you end up at quite a bit higher than that in terms of the actual capital that you, uh, you tie up, but certainly under 100,000 all in. And so for people who want to make a real estate investment and get a residency permit in the EU, this can be a great option for people. It's a little bit slower than some of the options, although to be fair, a lot of these investment options are slow, uh, but it might be, might be the right option for you. It's one of two uh, fairly decent programs that we have in this particular country. So we're gonna dive in and talk about that country, which is the country of Slovenia. I've done a video previously about how to obtain 4% tax in Slovenia under uh, 100,000 euros. Granted, there are some things with the socials, although they aren't as bad as some people think, and we've talked about that a little bit in the comments on some of our previous videos. So anyway, you can go back and look at that. Anyway, if you haven't already, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button, nail the notification bell, make sure you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you'd like help with figuring out where to relocate abroad, what the best strategy is, optimizing your taxes, either for yourself personally or for your business, uh, we help you with both setting, doing the analysis and figuring it out and developing the strategy as well as implementing it. So you can book a call with me, calendly.com forward slash Michael dash Rosmer. There's a link in the description below or send a message through our websites, offshorecitizen.net or offshorecapitalist.com. Okay, here we go. So uh, Sylvania is this country where we can get, uh, as I mentioned, a real estate investment. Now, it doesn't have to be a real estate investment, so we're gonna go through how this works. Essentially, this is a business investment, okay? And what you can do is you can form your own company. Uh, we go through and we help you with the whole process. So, you know, there's a variety of fees and uh, power of attorney costs, et cetera, involved, but you can do that most of this actually remotely via power of attorney where you can go and you can set up the company. You do have to uh, inject 7,500 euros of paid up share capital into the company. You can use that to pay wages or whatever business expenses afterwards. So that's something that can be done. Uh, and then from there, in order to qualify, you have to invest a minimum of 50,000 euros into your company. Now, the interesting thing is we can design the company such that it's a real estate investing company, then assist in taking that 50,000 euros purchasing a property, obtaining a renter, getting some rental income, and on the basis of that investment, then applying and getting a residency permit. So what does this require? All right, well, as I mentioned, you need to put up in this example, we're talking about, let's call it around 60,000 euros that you're gonna inject into your company. So you're gonna call that your investment in addition to you know, a bunch of fees that you're gonna to pay to, like I said, form the company and get the residency permits and pay all the government fees and pay the legal fees and on and on and on, right? So you do have some cost there. However, this being said, I mean, Slovenia is a fantastic uh, country in terms of the quality of passport that you're working towards. It's a beautiful country. It's the cleanest country in the EU. It's one that is quite safe. It gives you access to the Schengen zone. Therefore, you can turn around, you can do business around uh, the EU as well. I mean, you can do business in general. And so for some people, might be a really attractive way to go. If you're not at the point where you want to invest, you know, the 250,000 plus euros that you would typically have to invest in golden visa programs, there, this does come with the requirement of you actually spending six months a year, technically in Slovenia, although in reality, you can get away with it being in the Schengen zone. So you do have to tie yourself there. It's not like in the case of something like Portugal where you can do a golden visa and you can spend very little time. But for a lot of people, they want to move into the Schengen zone anyway. You can of course do family reunification and add your family members into this. So uh, there's a little bit of extra procedure, but that's not too bad. You can set this up. Uh, the process is pretty slow, especially in the last year and a half as things have been kind of more restricted. You're talking about in order to go through the first part of the procedure, about two weeks, I would say. Then 
Uh, this is after you get together the paperwork, etc. There are some new requirements that have come in that require a bunch of apostille documents. So that's a little bit annoying. You're gonna need a copy of your passport and proof of address and some other documents that you're gonna go through. Uh, so you have to get that. And like I said, the fact that you need notarized apostille documents, a little bit more of a hassle. So that's something. Uh, once you've got uh, it set up, then you can make the investment. Making the investment, obviously, depending on you know how long it takes to find, say, an appropriate property for you. Again, actually, this doesn't have to be invested in a property. You could invest it you know, in some other form uh, and still get the visa. But property is one that people like quite a bit just because of the fact that it's kind of predictable and uh, so on and so forth. So that's something to be aware of. There are some nuances about certain properties in Slovenia that uh, they're not... Uh, they weren't uh, they weren't approved properties, so there is some something to play around with there and be aware of. Anyway, so we can go with that. Uh, then you have to go and you have to actually get the residency permit. The residency permit, in theory, is supposed to take two months. In practice, it's taking more like four to six months. So this whole procedure generally is not very fast. I would say that you're talking about six to nine months in most cases before you are fully approved. However, you know. Of course, you have some functionality along the way, so that's useful. You're not in a situation where you really need to uh, wait that full nine months before you can take advantage of it. So anyway, I hope that helps. It gives a little bit of context of a country that some people aren't so aware of and an investment option, which is quite a bit lower than a lot of the other options in order to be able to get into the EU and start to establish yourself there. Like I said, it's a great passport if you can get it. It does take uh, like about 10 years before you can actually get it. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, you have access to the country, you have access to uh, the EU, to the Schengen zone. Wages are actually quite high. Like it's, uh, Slovenia is actually a pretty prosperous country, probably more like uh, Austria than it is like, uh, say, Croatia, Serbia, as, as a former uh, Yugoslavian, uh, former part of Yugoslavia. Um, and so, yeah, might be, might be of interest to you. If you'd like help with that or with any other program where you'd like to figure out what is best for you, again, please reach out to me. You can book a call, calendly.com forward slash Michael dash Rosemary. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with, share it with your friends. It really helps me, helps uh, us grow the channel. And I'm going to look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.